Okay, so we're going to make a Capto style tool holder for milling and we have one on the screen so this is what we want to achieve so we're going to go ahead and start with a new document and I'm going to drag in the file that I want to create so this is the orientation that it comes in it's along the red axis we want the blue z-axis to be pointed up into basically the spindle so what I can do uh, with these is just grab this face since this is the face that's going to be up against the spindle and I can click on align Z and that will align everything correctly for me. Um, if I'm worried about whether or not this is centered, it, it is centered, but I can grab any of the, uh, I don't want to grab one of these because they're not centered because it's uh, offset so I'm gonna grab this one or this one whatever and hit align Z as well and that will automatically make sure that the holder is centered above the or around the rotary Z axis so I'm just gonna hit uh, right click select all come to my properties and pick a color and I'm gonna make the collet nut darker uh, so I'm going to just come in here to the select the uh, the solid for the collet nut grab a darker shade of gray and It looks pretty good So now what I want to do is basically since this is uh, the definition of the location of where it will come When it appears in the spindle when I make a tool I want the tool to appear here. So I'm just going to hit translate snap to this face here you'll see the highlight so just click on translate, highlight that face, and you'll see that the UVW snaps to that center of the face of the collet nut. And then I'm going to come here and create a new work plane called TA underscore one for tool adapter. Tool adapter is the uh, work plane that we use. I'll hit enter. And at this point now, I can go ahead and save my file. So I'll just pick File Save As, I'll pick a holder GDML file type, and this is the first Capto C6 holder that I'm making, so I will save it in that folder, and we're ready to use it for simulation.